Welcome to the aftermath of the total destruction of Glen Serio's Throttling in my previous video. Today, we're gonna finish the job with riveting content such as. Hello. His amazing observation skills. The camera's right there. Which are only dwarfed by his conversation skills. What's that? Oh, is that like a law or something? His newly found hobby in license plate spotting. AKZ 1987. Huh? Oh, I'm just reading the license plate number. E0J 2411. IKEA. Kia Sorento. And we all know how Glenn Sirio is an expert in names and tags. Sir, can I see your name tag? Sir, can I see your name tag? I need to identify you. Sir, can I see your ID badge? Can I see your ID badge? I need to identify you. And as we all know, he's very concerned about everything. Be gentle with those packages. Be gentle with those packages. Be gentle. Be gentle. I said be gentle. And of course, Mr. Syria was up to date with all the laws and rules and regulations. There's just seven right there. They don't even know their own rules. <laughs> 2007. But all that aside, he is after all an absolute expert at being made the fool. I'm not online. I'm, I'm not either. I'm okay. curious. I don't work here. Uh, uh. Is there really a need to record? I have a purpose, yeah. Okay. How do you know I'm not with the news? Because if you were with the news, I would think you'd have more than just a selfie stick and a phone. I'm there right now. He's somebody. <laughs> Can I help you? Phone. Can I help you? <laughs> I didn't do this shit too. <laughs> yeah, obviously he has a problem. Huh? Obviously he has a problem, so we're gonna help each other here. <laughs> Well, that's an apt description of Glenn Serio's skills in using a camera phone. Why he's recording these people? No one knows. It's just people working at the post office and he goes out of his way to record them. I don't know. Hello. 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 This guy is triggered. Why? Is that the guy that just walked up to you and took a picture of you or a video? That is not triggered, that's just taking footage of a very rare situation of a camera zombie wobbling a camera around. I just give Glenn a moment. He needs to uh, work out uh, the language thing. The, you know, the thing that connects his mouth to his talky bit. Use your mouth, Glenn. No? Are you trying to get a reaction out of this? What's going on? I'm just curious. Oh shit, now what, Glenn? He's got your number. You can press pause and we can talk offline. Can you flip the name tag? My name tag for what? So I can see it. What do you need to see my name for? 
Well, I'm here for a reason. What's the reason, sir? Um, I need to see the name tag. Uh, I mean, you can see my name tag, that's fine, but I mean, what do you need to see it for? That's the question. Can I see it? Why are you here, though? That's what I'm asking. I'll answer that after you show me. For real? Yeah. We'll talk. Yeah. Okay, I'll show you my name tag. There okay. it is. All right, so why are you here? Not on my video, you won't. Also, he is here to instigate bait at some kind of reaction. Be stupid in public and stink up the place, of course. It's an entire laundry list of dipshittery. I'm uh, conducting an investigation. On what? On some people here at the post office. Oh, for what, what for? Uh, I can't really say. It's pretty private. It's pretty private? Yeah. Okay. So. Can I ask you your name? I can't give you that now. Okay, that's fine. Yeah. I'm just... We're all just curious what's going on. I no, mean, it's cool. I hopefully, understand. I mean, we didn't offend you in any way. I mean, no, no, you're good. The workers, no, we're you're just good. To do our job. That's no, cool. yeah, you, you seem pr pretty polite and cordial, you know? Yeah, yeah, I'm just trying to really laid see back, what, yeah. What this is about. We're all curious inside, so we're just. I understand, <laughs> yeah. I just on. can't talk about it. All right, well, um. C correction, you can't brain about it. I'm here on official business. I can't talk about it. <laughs> I mean, what the hell are you even doing, Glenn? Get a life. Take care. I hope you settle whatever's going on. Thanks. Uh, Appreciate it. Yeah. Stay safe, though. You too. Because some people are kind of mad. Yep. No, don't you mean they're going to go postal on your ass? I may deserve that. So, Detective Glenn's new theme song, eh? B0J2411, IKEA, Kia Sorento. Can I see your name tag? Can I see your name tag? Why? I'm looking for someone specific. Not me. Okay. I haven't been here for a week. Okay. Sir, can I see your ID badge? Can I see your ID badge? I need to identify you. I'll show you mine if you show me yours. I'll show you mine if you show me yours. Hey, that's not polite of a government official to You're not supposed to be swearing on the job, sir. You're not supposed to be swearing on the job.
Be gentle with those packages. Be gentle with those packages. Be gentle. Be gentle. I said be gentle. I can't hear you. Sir, I'm gonna need to see your ID badge. What's that? Sir, just flip that ID badge around real quick. Oh, the music kind of spiffified it, didn't it? Well, actually, it made it into a bloody horror movie. Like, let's hear you some kind of stalking, voyeuristic, smelly uh, dick flute. You're not allowed to do that on government time. You're not allowed to do that. I can confiscate that phone from you. Be careful with those bins, they're fragile. Walk slowly. Don't trip. You got a day badge I can see? No, because I'm off the clock and off, off the property. Right, but you, you still have to show me. No, I don't, not when I'm off the clock. You're required to. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. Okay, whatever. I'm not gonna argue with you. Hey, I'll just find out uh, later, okay? We'll be contacting you. I mean, isn't this entire brain fart quite amusing to see? What is he even doing? He's trying to instruct people what to do. He really thinks his life is a video game. That's why he thinks mutual combat is actually a thing for him. We will contact you. Who's we? Is that your Jeep Cherokee? Yeah. I'll just get your plate number and we'll run it from there. Whatever. Okay. Start harassing me, I'm gonna call the cops. For fuck's sake, man, he, he is actually cosplaying as a detective. I mean, how <laughs> I'm not even gonna ask that question. What are you doing walking through the gate? Stupid questions get stupid answers. Yeah, and stupid does is stupid does, Glenn. So everything you say is stupid. Really stupid. And uh, I think we once again can demand an apology on behalf of the human race. Exponentially bringing down our IQ. How dare you. And now that you're done roaming around the backside of the post office, let's have a look at the inside of the post office, shall we? Where you're gonna get owned royally. Uh. Pictures in a federal building. What's that? Can't take pictures in a federal building. Oh, is that like a law or something? Uh, we okay. Very odd behavior. <laughs> permission from who? From the postal master. Who's the postmaster? Uh, that's Karen Bacon down at the Evergreen Station. Okay. So I, I need like written consent from her? Or? Yes, in order to be using that inside of our facility. And who are you? I am one of the supervisors. Do you have a name or? Sir, you need to turn that off in order to be, you can't be using that inside our I facility. can't be using this inside the store? No, you cannot. This is a post office, not a store, right? This is a post office and you can't be using that inside. So I need you to- I'm not aware of that. Um, can you show me the rules that say that? you need to turn that off and or leave are you you, you are, need to turn that off are you the postmaster no i'm not okay um are you aware of poster seven uh, rules and regulations off, governing sir. the post office photographs for news purposes and advertisement you want to get blake Oh, it seems like she is aware of Poster 7. That's why she's not allowing you to actually record. Authorized personnel or security personnel is allowed to trespass you on the count of recording. If you do not, you will be trespassed. Which you actually requested in my previous video, but then refused to fill in the bloody name. Poster 7 right there. They don't even know their own rules. <laughs> Shut up and 
seven. Cameras right there. Thank you, Glenn, for actually showing Poster 7 so that I don't have to... So you guys can pause it, you can read it. He doesn't read it because he can't read. That's probably the reason why he is violating Poster 7. That, or he's lonely. I don't know. Uh. Oh, hold on, cow. I can't say that. I run a family fucking friendly show here. Uh. Yeah, that's right. <clears throat> Looks like they're always hiring. At the post office. Yeah, well, I don't know, Glenn. Since you're always at the post office, why don't you try and get a job as some kind of packing man or, you know, driving a forklift? Hello. Well, I... Yeah. She is not waving at you to say hi, she's waving at you to come on over because, you know, maybe you need to buy a stamp like all the other frauditors do. Don't you know how to fraud it, Glenn? You really are losing your thoughts, aren't you? I'm not online. I'm, I'm not either. I'm okay. curious. I don't work here. Uh, uh, yeah. just, is there really a need to record? I have a purpose. Wait, what? What? What did he say? Oh, for fuck's sake, you do Yeah. Okay. okay. Um, but you do understand that recording people, whether giving other people personal information, can be concerning. So, what personal information do you think that I am obtaining? I don't know. But <laughs> this is a place where personal information. Right, Can't and given. and I'm pretty far from the uh, front desk, right? I know. I'm okay. just, I'm just saying. Right. That's, Every, that's everyone's, the only reason why everyone's entitled to their own opinion. This is America. We live in a free country. You're entitled to think whatever you want, even if it's false information. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God, the irony, the irony. Yes, it is allowed to, uh, you know, have false information in your brainy bit, but you're not allowed to act on the false information then. You are acting on it. What the actual fuck is Glenn Serio doing a fraud it again? Wasn't he supposed to be out on good behavior, which he's clearly violating right now? Also, Radical, the dungeon is already smelly enough with Daniel Pratt in there. Why does this umpa lumpa looking dick flute need to make a return every now and again? Oh, when he does a dumb, he does a dumb. And I slap dumb around. Well, fair enough, and cow, could you tone it down? The YouTube bot is roaming around, and as you well know, that thing is scary as shit. So calm Yaradas for a bit. Anyway, I'm out of here. Don't you dare! Uh. Damn it, cow! Uh. You know what you did. But it's also against the law to record people oh, it without is. their permission. What law is that? It's. I don't have it off the top of my head. Right, but usually people would cite a law if they if they actually knew the law and they knew if it was illegal, they would cite the law, right? No. No? You just no. randomly say it's against the law and that's it and you go to jail or what? <laughs> There's a reason why before the TV shows and whatnot can show people on live TV, even news. Mm -hmm. Stations can show anybody on live TV. They need to get their permission because they need permission. They sign a waiver and everything. So you're saying I need your consent? No, no, sorry. To post that to any kind of social media? Yes. Oh wow. Okay. <laughs> so can I have your consent? Mine, sure. But I don't okay. Know about everybody else. Do you have the paper I can sign? No. You got no? it on. Well, you said we need a waiver, right? The higher ups they do that before they start recording because they go live who's the higher ups the, the news stations 
government officials. How do you know I'm not with the news? <laughs> I mean. Because <laughs> if you were with the news, I would think you'd have more than just a selfie stick and a phone. Exactly. <clears throat> How do you know that I'm not like freelance and I work for the news? Well, then I really don't like you. Okay. <laughs> not that I didn't like you before, but you know. You don't like the seven major news networks? No. Why? Because they don't always tell the truth. That's true. They're biased, yeah. Mm -hmm. They can be biased. Yeah, I just, I just want you to understand why it would be uncomfortable for other people right but you know where we are right we're in a public building right this is the post office it's public anyone can enter and leave on their free will it's not like a so, private so you would do the same thing at the dol sure why not it's, okay. it's public right i'm allowed to be there you're allowed to be there it's not like if i walked in the restaurant across the street that's private, right? They can call the police. Hey, Glenn, the post office is also privately funded. It's not a... I mean, I see a bunch of idiots in my comment section as well, constantly going on about it's a public area. No, 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 little fraudator. It is not. It is a publicly accessible area in a private business. The post office is not funded by any taxpayer money. So instead of actually learning things, you guys just constantly keep repeating the same thing over and over again. You're just as bad as flat earthers and other conspiracy idiots. Except this is much easier easier to prove wrong. Well, that's not true. Flat Earth is also easy to prove wrong. What I meant was with that comparison is that you still go on the conspiracy bandwagon even though it's written in text. You can easily see and read it. You guys can't read. That's the problem, isn't it? So if you were to go get food stamps and someone were to walk in with a selfie stick and a camera and just start walking around the room recording, you know, a lot of people, they don't like the fact that they have to go on the food stamps. They don't like the fact... If, if I was to go and get food stamps... Yeah. I would, would never that get, not be embarrassing? I would never get food stamps. I would never need to get food stamps. You say that now. I've had a point in time where I said, I would never need to get food stamps. I've had to get food stamps before. It's nothing to be ashamed of, but I know why people would be. Well, I mean, I, I would always look for some kind of work, even if it's low in pay, you know? But since you have so much time on your hands, you are not a working man. That's obvious. So why don't you look to your right? There's a poster right there. They're hiring at this specific post office, so since you always hang around at post offices anyway, they wouldn't hire you because you don't have any skills at all. How'd that forklift job work out for you, Glenn? Even if you do work, you may not always be able to afford food. Some people, they work their butts off, but they have other obligations like child support or stuff like that that they also have to pay off. They can't always afford the food, so anything that helps, helps. Yeah, I mean, if you're, if you're in desperate need and you're in a really financial crisis, I mean, that's, you know, every, to each their own, you know, but thank God I've never been there, so. <laughs> yeah, but, like, do you realize that saying that you would never be in that situation, therefore, does not apply to you? Because that's what's coming across. I mean, there's... It's like when the teachers tell the other kids that are bullying the one kid... Well, what if that happened to you? And they go, oh, well, it's not happening to me, which is a severe lack of empathy. I mean, everyone's responsible for their, themselves, right? Like, if, if you're in desperate need of financial assistance, then you should apply for it. But if you are capable and able to find work and you know how, you have a skill or you have a, a really good, you know, thing to present to an employer, you know, then... My God, just listen to this fool pretending he knows how to apply for a job. It, it sounds like, and then, and then I'm going to tell the boss I'm going to have a, have a really good job because I want uh, a really good money to buy all my, all my toys. And Grow the fuck up, Glenn. That's not how real life works. You would never need to, you know. Well, there are always circumstances. You may not always have that job, especially like what with how the virus hit. You go find a new one. You keep looking. Yeah, exactly. Then you, you just go to the to the quest master and the quest master will give you a quest for a job. This is not World of Warcraft, buddy. You keep applying. And right now, ways. everyone's hiring. Look yeah. at the post office is even hiring. Yeah, I know, <laughs> but it's not always like that. No, you but... You never know what's going to happen. You can get a job at McDonald's right now. McDonald's is paying like 16 bucks an hour. Yeah. Anyone could go work yeah. at McDonald's. Yeah, but that's minimum wage. Six. Right now, $15 an hour is the minimum wage. Yeah, but it's better than working in Montana at McDonald's, right? Making like a nine, right? Well, 
Well, <laughs> in Montana, that's their minimum wage. And that's still not a living wage over in Montana. Right. It's different for each state. I really gotta commend this lady. She is just trying to explain very, very basic economics to the Glenmeister. It's minimum wage. Yeah, try and get... <laughs> Try and run a family on minimum wage, Glenn. That is not gonna happen. You're gonna need some support from somewhere else. I'm barely making it as I am. I'm only in here because I'm doing stuff for my business. Not my business, but the company I work for. Which he would not be very pleased if he knew that any one of his employees was being recorded. So what would he have to dispute about that? What would his, what would his uh, dispute be regarding that? If it ever came to anything, I would think came to he what? didn't have permission. What do you think it would come to? I don't know. Maybe you get into a huge argument with the staff here, which really isn't necessary. And I'm in the video and someone recognizes me in the video. It's like, oh, she didn't do anything about it. She must be in with him or them <laughs> well, I mean, or whatever. Yeah, I know it's it's far fetched. I get it, but still, I'm just you can keep recording. I'm not. I know to that. Make I know. I know what I can can do. Sorry about her employer. He could get you for loitering, trespassing, harassment, voyeurism. I hope your actual bloody zipper is up because there's a kid in there as well. Which would also mean indecent exposure. Not to mention a smelly man in a warm place would be expelled from that as well. Because you are stinking up the place which is infringing on other people's right to smell fresh air. And your YouTube university diploma is worthless. Because you don't know what you can and can't do. I'm very aware of that, but I, I mean, just, I, don't, I don't click my heels. And your click here. <laughs> Hello. Hi. I'm good. How are you? Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, I just, just kind of curious, you know. Yeah, I mean, everyone's entitled to their own, you know, curiosity. You know, free country in America, right? Mm -hmm. You can do whatever yeah, you want. That break the law. Well, yeah. <laughs> and even then, certain laws are legal that really shouldn't be. That's true. I can't think of any off the top of my head, but. Uh... There's a bunch. Yeah. Yep. But yeah, I was just curious if you knew. Knew what? Some people could find it uncomfortable. I'm not here to, like, you know, keep people feeling comfortable and not, I'm not a, like a massage therapist, you know what I mean? <laughs> if, if I have to follow social rules in order to be accepted into society, then everyone else should too. So I should follow those rules based on, based upon what argument? Based on the fact that you're not threatened to be kicked out of the place that you're in. You can't kick me out of here. That's, that's, that's where they're wrong. They don't know what they're talking about. They have no idea what they're talking about. You, you can't kick me out of here. We're in a public facility. The only way they could kick me out is if I was attacking somebody or like, you know, doing something physical or doing something. But they cannot remove me from, they could call the police, the police could show up and the police will tell them the same thing. There's nothing anybody can do. You keep saying that, Glenn, and all the other fraudsters keep saying that, but it's not true. They can kick you out for any reason. It is not a public place. It's Why can't they differentiate between those? I mean, public accessible area in a private business versus a public place. I mean, it's not that hard. Yeah. All right, I'm going to be honest. You just seem like kind of a jerk. I'm... I know you're not, but it just... I'm just being like... straight up. I'm, I'm telling the truth. I mean... I'm being straight up, you know, like, I could lie to you if you want, if that would make you feel better. No, no, I'm just... Well, at this point, I think Glenn is not actually lying because he doesn't actually know the truth. So technically he is not lying, right? He's just too stupid for words. I honestly don't know what I'm trying to get out of this conversation. I don't know either. I guess I just always wanted to talk to somebody who would do this. Okay. So there you go. You want to be on camera. <laughs> I feel sorry that you met the worst one of them. No. I no? just wanted to talk to you. You're the one who's pointing the camera at me. Right, but you want to be on camera, right? No. Okay. 
Nope, don't put me on it either. I'll Everyone, see. everyone's on it. The whole facility's on it. I don't give you permission. I don't need permission. Yeah, I need no, need permission. what permission? Well, What's that? I don't know, are you just a little pot smoker hanging out? Come on, what? Uh, you're not big enough, dude, come on. You're not big, look at that. <laughs> Come on, Glenn, let's see some mutual combat. You know, you are the best fighter on the entire planet. So let's see it at least one day. Fucking coward. Always looking for excuses and then also calling for the police. I mean, what the hell are you even? If not a hypocrite. You're not big enough, yeah. So you're insulting him right now. He spoke to me. He engaged me. Right? I'm minding my own business. You've approached me, he approached me. No, 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 this man approached you, but... This lady didn't approach you, she just was standing there and you ad actually addressed her. I'm not standing in line, so you approached her. Great. Mm -hmm. I'm just trying to, you know. Trying to what? Cause a scene? Start an argument? <laughs> I'm trying to get you to put the phone away because it's not nice. It's not gonna happen. Phone's not gonna be put away. All right. Then continue living your life. I will. Watch out for the railing. As you like, Kevin. <laughs> she called him Kevin. <laughs> That seems about your prophetic immaturity level right there, Glenn. Well, that's what's happening. <laughs> See what's going on. I don't work here. You can't file a complaint. <laughs> <laughs> hey, how you doing? This guy's down here causing problems. How are you doing? Right. We're uh, trying to take it. Right in. Okay. Can I work tomorrow? <clears throat> oh, Chris Farley. Adios. Adios. You're not going nowhere. Adios, You're surfer. Going surfer guy. Look at this guy's drunk or something. Yeah, I'm drunk, yeah. yeah. I'm fully intoxicated. Yeah, something's yeah, going you're... on up there, buddy. Too much PCP, huh? Too much meth? Oh, there was your final chance, Glenn Sirio. You have been utterly destroyed by the lady, by this guy, by me, by Cow, by Google Girl, by everyone on our side in the community. We have utterly destroyed you. You have nothing left. Might as well delete your channel right now. And let's be honest here. If you made it this far into the video, remember to tickle the button all buttons around to have a look around. You can play when they do stuff over there. And I will see you next time. Bye-bye. Uh, now, Kyle, we really need to talk about your... Well, that shut me up.